Okay, guys, in this tutorial, uh, you can see here it is a device ran into the problem and it's to be restarted. The problem is like a, it's a error code, so memory management. So if you guys are getting the error like this, you're going to follow the steps in this tutorial, the number of the steps, one the other steps. So I hope it will help you. In case, uh, if it helps you, you're going to share this video with your friends and family. Okay, guys, you're going to type the command SFC space slash scan now. It needs to be together and press enter again. So it will take some time. Uh, let it to complete 100% and you're all done. Okay, guys, you can sit down with the 100%. Now just exit it. Okay, let me exit it and press enter again. Finally, we we'll just uh, give a restart to your PC and check if uh, it fixes the issue. Go to source and type update. Here you have check for updates. Click on it. Are you going to type check for updates straightly? So when you type check for updates, you're going to see this window. What you're going to do is you can download and install the updates or you can just check for the updates. It will check for all the necessary updates. Finally, you can see it is downloading and installing and then after you can restart your PC. Do not forget to restart for the changes to take effect. So this will fix your issue. It's a some, you can see this one is completed manually. Just download and install. If any options over here, it is a manually to download and install, you have to download and install manually and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So this should fix your issue. Okay guys, hold the Windows key and R in your keyboard. It will open this round dialog box. You are going to type the command. It's mdsched.exe. So this is the command that you're going to type. It's mdsched.exe and then click on OK. It will come up with another box. It's a dialog box, Windows Memory Diagnostic. So we're going to diagnose the memory. So you can restart now and check for the problems. Even you have a second option if you would like to choose first any reason. So I'll go with the first options. Restart now and check for the problems. It will restart your PC and start checking. So it is diagnostic tool for memory. So wait till it gets completed.
You can see guys down with one. Now it's two of two. So 50% is down. Now 50% test is remaining. Okay guys, you can see finally done. Once it is done to restart your computer. So I have this fixer issue. You're gonna choose command prompt and click on that. You're gonna choose the user account. So you might be having a multiple number of user in your computer. So you're gonna choose the user. Make sure you have a administrator privilege to the user. Enter the password if you have password for your account and click on continue. And now here you have a command prompt. Okay guys, I hope command is visible. It will locate the bad sector and recover some of the files that is readable. So guys, you just have to press enter key after you type it correctly. Now you can see it is going on, everything is in process. Just give some time. Doing this might take a pretty long time. So just keep some time. Finally, once you're done, you're gonna press exit. So if it asks you for the, any kinds of permission in your computer, like yes or no, you're gonna type Y for yes, and then press enter key. So finally, it's all done. You're gonna exit it. And now restart your computer. You're just gonna choose, it's a troubleshoot. And here you are, uh, reset this PC. Let's click on that. Keep my files or remove everything. Okay guys, this will restart your PC and after restarting, this is what you get. Your account, one you use to log in your PC. So if it is password protected, you have to enter the password and click on continue. If it is not password protected, just directly click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, this is what you get. Resetting this PC, getting the things ready. So give us some time and it will get all the things ready. Okay guys, now here it is. Once, it's, once uh, it gets ready, click on reset.
So now this might take several minutes and we are all done. Your piece will be all the way ready to use. So finally, here is your PC, all the way ready to use.